Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We're back on Mars for more Moons of Madness. Now, if you remember last time, uh, we stopped right before we went in to realign the solar array. And I think Declan and I shared some uh, heart to heart about our relative nightmares, although I will say his sounded worse. Let me quickly look in here, there's nothing. Okay. All right, let's get out of the cat, and let's go and uh, realign these arrays. Okay, we'll push. We're at 100% oxygen, so we... 100% uh, air, so we don't have to... Uh, locate the power conduit. Okay, let's just see. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's... Okay. Elevator's not working. Someone must have borrowed a power cell. Declan. I'm heading up to the perilous rocky pathway. Power cell for the elevator is missing. Have fun. Oh, hey, just got an update from Commander Wilcox. Landing site preparations are underway. Also, she told me to clean up my shit at the comms tower. <laughs> she didn't want to scare off the new recruits. I like Josie. Well, that's right. We got a ship coming in. And, uh, well, I guess somebody might have taken the power cell. But remember, we also had that big earthquake, which is what woke us up this morning. And that's also why we're here to reset anything in the first place. Okay. Before we get there... Let's see. Let's see. No power, no power. And when we do get it, it goes in here. Okay, cool. It's over here, though. It's clearly a... <laughs> a way to get up on something. I'm up. Cool. Ninety percent. Probably be careful and watch the O2, but but I wonder if there's just multiple ways to get up here because there was definitely a climber or a climb prompt over there. And this is dangerous. Like I could get really, really far off and just wander out around here. Ooh. Okay. What was up here, then? What is this thing? It's an antenna, I guess? Maybe it's a comma ray? As opposed to just the, um... Hmm. No? Interesting. Okay. Um... Well, 84%. Let me just see one thing real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can climb up there. Oh, that's it. Okay. So you can climb up or you can walk around. I get you. Uh, you know, it's stuff like that that makes me wonder whether it's going to be necessary going forward, but I guess we'll find out. And no power either because we don't have a power cell. Okay. Means... Come here. Restore the power. Well, we gotta find the power cell. And maybe... Solar panels are definitely desynchronized. I'll have to connect with my bio gauge to rotate them. If I'm quick, there may still be enough hours of daylight to recharge the overnight batteries. Okay, 78%. I think we got enough O2 left. But we also Whoa. need that... Declan, a whole section of the scaffolding here has collapsed. Oh, it was the witch! Or we had a minor quake recently. You know, take your pick, though. I'm, I'm not blaming anything. I'm just saying it collapsed, man. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Okay. Lucigen class command console. This control console interfere interfaces directly with the Lucigen series solar panels, latest in sickles. Okay, so that's so the thing that connects is the scaffolding with the actual like controls. Connect it to control and rotation and receive output and efficiency readings. Connect. Okay, clearly not the way. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Nope. Optimal. One down. Nice. Alright, and there's the other one. 70%. Okay. Okay. I don't really want to run, because I, I think that's probably going to... 
use my O2 faster. Got an open box here. Does this open box have a battery in it? Maybe? No. Oh, nice! Nice! I like that we have, like, dusty footprints. Oh, excellent. Alright, refill O2. That's kind of not, I, You know what? I mean, it's supposed to be a spooky game, but I kind of like the day-to-day the -day mundanity of this process right here. I mean, I know it's probably setting me up for something... For something, or at least to, you know, to point out, like, this is the normal routine, and then everything goes haywire. Oh, okay, can we charge this up? Push. Nice. Oh, scan to connect. I'm sorry, hold on. No, 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 no. Reopen. Okay, connecting. No, let's connect that way. A bit more. Hmm. Oh, I can pitch it. There we go. That should do it. Hi, Shane. Uh, I made a bio gauge program so that you can see when Phobos is passing overhead. It, it circles Mars three times a day, you know, and um, it, it, it is required that everyone downloads this program. Um, I've already added it to your OS to ensure that y you don't forget. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. I think it'll really help with morale. Okay. Clearly not Declan. So who was that? Which one of the team was that? And why did he sound like a Simpsons character? Who is taking power cells from my solar array? Declan, who was out here last? Mm, probably Lucas on some errand for Volkova. Ah, they're always up to something weird. Creeps me out. I have never met a normal botanist. Okay, interesting. We don't have... The solar... We don't have the power cell in there, so we need... And can I take it from here? Because this one had one. No. Hmm. See, maybe I can yank it from there. That looks like a... That looks like an elevator. How many am I... Okay, O2 is fine. Let me yank it from here, or maybe I can yank one from down there. Eh. I'm shocked that there aren't just spare... I mean, I'm not that shocked. But I'm a little disappointed that there aren't at least some spares lying around. Okay, let's go downstairs. I'm kind of glad to get out of the base. Walk around. Yeah, it's nice to step outside, breathe in that non-existent Martian air. Well, there's that, but I can move out here. I don't know, spread my wings a bit. Like a beautiful dead Martian swan. Like a dead Martian eagle, thank you. Interesting. Okay, so if I can find a way to get up without having to use this elevator, I can take that power cell. Okay, well, at least that's a start. Hmm. Let's check out anything here. Oh, checkpoint. Well, that means something's gonna happen. But... Fine, let's go inside the facility, and then... Can't see maybe around the... No, it's not up there either. Huh. Huh. There's like a little digger, is there? Hold on. 73%. The Badger. Geological survey vehicle from Manticore's MM90 series. With mineral breakdown and terrain bypass capabilities, run under the mod on a modular power cell. Warning. Engine malfunction detected system lockdown. Can it to connect? Connect. No power. Did it carry the same cell? Uh -huh. You know what? Just out of curiosity, let me just see what this will look like. Right. Take that cell, let's stick it in here. Okay, it's up and running. 
start the engine. No, there's a f test. test. Hmm. Elgin engine malfunction. All right. Um, you know what? Let's grab this one just in case. It is a puzzle game. Um, let's, let's do this. Let me put it back just in case I got to get out of here in a hurry. <laughs> just as a paranoia issue. Okay. Now, what is happening on the side here? And can I climb up here? No? No. Okay, fine. But the yellow yellow hex is here, which means I'm coming in. And this airlock means airlock. Alright, so this thing should be pressurized. In theory. Excellent. Cycle the airlock. Indoor temperature, perfect. Or indoor... Indoor, perfect. Take off the helmet. There's no need to walk around in a suit here. Walk in. Huh? Okay. Don't know. Thought I saw someone. Don't see anyone now. Let's just get this done. Can I take one of these? Just for psychological. Why is everything black and white in here, man? Ah, oh, dip. Okay, I'm coming back out. Let me get the um. Ugh, let me get the the power cell in here. Got to take it with me. Sorry, guys. Should have known. Where are we? Sixty percent. That's fine. Cycle the atmosphere. Okay, I'm hoping that's the only spooky thing that happens in this particular part of the base. But I am not holding my breath. And there is no pun intended there whatsoever. Even though it's not really a pun or a joke or anything. Okay. Coming back. I'm. I think we should we should probably hope that there's what that there's a couple more of these power cells in there, right? Because I don't want to have to tote this one around from place to place. That's just not the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Uh, does it matter? Yeah, it matters because I I don't want to. If I have the helmet on, I'll just keep sucking down the O2. Take the helmet off. All right, calm it down. Calm it down. We're in space. We're in space. It's a little dark. Not make any stupid mistakes, yeah? Lucky I brought along a power cell. Yes. Yes, Shane. It's very lucky. Hey. Up there. Let's look around. Around, look around. A lot of chess playing around here. It's locked. Why is this locked? Unlock the door. Thank you. I want to say that's like a storage facility of some kind, or a storage room of some kind, but I... I don't know. Nice. Okay. That's it? It's like this little building? There's not like a little bit more underground or something? Okay, that's fine. What is this place? Just another sample? Like a... A way station, basically? So, Orochi. Okay, Geological Survey Report. Declan Delapore. After 133 sols, primary mission is finally a success. Nice. Located a possible water ice deposit 36.8 kilometers east of here. That's what we read in the lo in uh, Josie's log. Sereno crew will be notified as soon as they're within range. Investigations are underway. Nice. All right, and Sereno is what they're prepping for the landing of right now. Hey, Declan, why don't you give me your password? I'm just gonna check out your browsing history. Hard pass. Uh, it's me. Okay. Uh, let's see. This still logged in though. Okay, log number eighty-four. Solar panels are becoming a consistent issue. The power conduit logs, the dip in power when the automatic sensors stop working and shuts down, triggering second secondary batteries, manual calibration seems to work fine, and the panels turn and track the sun. Only remaining option is a coding issue, and nothing I can uh, find in the manual helps with troubleshooting. Honestly, the extra EVAs are great for clearing my mind. 
feels so cramped doing maintenance at the station, looking out the window isn't the same as standing there on the sand. Even if I'm just scanning and hunting and turning knobs, it's scanning and turning knobs on Mars. It's real. And with everyone bitching about sleep issues, myself included, it's nice to feel like I'm getting away. Almost don't want to log the issue, but yeah, power might be important. Is this just real time, us just logging it in? All right. Water sites, Tharsis, MC9, Ulysses, Coles, current site high priority, drilling site approved, thermal scan shows, multiple possible ice veins deposits, nearest approximately 34 meters below surface, soil samples return sediment clay at 10 meters, UV scans nominal. Biblis Paterum, moderate priority. Fossilized plant material, sample discovered by Quietude 3, testing required to determine Mars origin or particula particulates from meteor impact. Thermal scans most promising, additional explore, uh, exploration approved, though distance a major factor. Ulysses Patero, low priority, initial sample negative, thermal UV show, potential deposits below threshold. Cool. Recent activity. Hmm, okay, let's start from the bottom, right? 6-7-2063, power cell placed in storage, misfire, risk of sparks, replaced faulty wiring, 6-11... Inclement weather, toilet clog, manual extraction required, shower confirmed is working. 619 solar array, manual recalibration, cause unknown, diagnostic approach is zero. 7102 fill station, 7, nick and hose, replace length and, ho and nozzle. 73 solar array, 3, panel 23, automatic sensor replaced, small abrasion on external wiring, manual calibration. 74 solar, 02, manual calibration, no external damage, diagnostic, zero issues. 78 M90 Badger 3, that's the thing. Towed to solar site, engine malfunction, ignition exhaust sensor. Not mission critical, await Sereno for resupply. 79, Solar Array 1, manual calibration required coding issue. 711, Solar Array 2 3, manual calibration required still no assessment, logging issue. Okay. Did Lucas think I wouldn't notice something missing from my outpost? <laughs> Lucas Van Buren, employee of the month. Okay, note to Shane. Uh, this is Lucas. Seeing as living quarters of this facility have become your makeshift storage area, I have placed a few of my own non-essential items in this space as well. I have therefore enacted a more secure protocol for the locking mechanism for the quarters in question. As you have access to this location on a habitual basis, I have allowed you unlock privilege without password protection. I request that you please do not disturb my items, as even though they are non-essential, they are in effect my possessions and aid me in my endeavors. Thank you, Dr. Van Buren. Great, unlock the door. Okay. Ooh, no. Getting jumpy. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, let's go and open the door. And get those power cells. Hmm. Nice. Second power cell. Okay. Now we have two. Now we can basically leapfrog these. Operating instructions. Operating instructions for something. Maybe the maybe the badger outside. Money investments experts. Investments. Great. Okay, is that it? Is there something more here? Manticore, sleeping pills, interesting, and some sort of apparatus that I'm not quite aware of. Looks like a camera, but I'm going to go and say probably not. Okay, let's pull the cat. Let's pull. Grab that cell powering the facility before I go. Yes, thank you, Shane. I was about to say the same thing. Okay, I'm going to remove the cell and let's go outside. Put on the helmet. So now we can use one of the cells to power the to repower the elevator, which is fine. Refill the air, and then the other cell will power the solar, and then we'll also just power the second um, the second elevator. Oh, that's right. Cycle pressure. Now we open. 
Shane, what is the situation at the solar site? Panels are out of alignment again. Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. I can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got four Orochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. But we have a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Copy? Copy. Not your fault, but after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. All right, Josie, all right. Why don't you tell Orochi that their equipment sucks? And that maybe if they made pr they made quality goods, I wouldn't have to fix it all the time, huh? It seems like a good idea. Okay. Now, we plug in. Connect. And... Nope. Get to 54. And get this. Nice. Nope. Excellent. Declan, the solar panels are now calibrated. Heading up the hill to the conduit. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, copy that. You could sound a little more excited, Declan. Wait, what was that? Just panels to their optimal rotation. Right. Am I supposed to not? Oh, I guess I have to keep this powered. Fine. Can't just take it with me. And now let's go... Up here, I guess. This is the conduit? No, that's the elevator. So, the, oh, the conduit is that thing. This one again. Right. Lime. Lime. Come on, man. Spend a little more time in the gym, would you? You're huffing and puffing over here. It's embarrassing. The power conduit is shut down. Mm. There should be a fuse switch on one of the sides. Not that side, huh? Okay. And go. Let's close that up so that we don't get sand everywhere. Now let's hit the conduit. Looking good. Power should be back on. Checkpoint. And return to base. Perfect. Uh, Shane, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I think we just found water on Mars. Bad news, it is spraying all over the greenhouse. Restoring power must have triggered the pumps, and I'm showing significant pressure loss across the system. Can't be cut off remotely? Oh, sorry, cowboy. This is a job that requires your hands-on expertise. All right. Heading back now. All right, let's just walk down. I'm not gonna... What did you just do? I have water spraying all over my greenhouse. I would not expect this from a new heart. Can't you just turn it off? I do not have time for this. You will fix this. Jeez. Who shit in her cereal? Language, Shane. Language. Also, man, it was all goody gumdrops and smiles. Everyone's a little tense because the Cyrano's coming in. Is that what's going on? Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get back in the cat. And... And up. And close the door. Alright, all in all, pretty successful little sojourn. Not a lot of... Not a lot of craziness. I'm not exactly going completely out of my mind quite yet. But there's time. We can get there. <laughs> okay. Cat, let's go back to base. And I think once we get to base, we'll probably put a pin in it then. Back the engine. And again, I'm not really controlling it. I think the only thing I get to do is push forward, and then it kind of just drives itself. Hey, still fighting that headache? Yeah, I still can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. 
It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah. Everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is, the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought. So, I went down. There was a, a like a... Well, she wasn't there. Or anywhere. We searched for years. Okay. So, it looks like Shane has some sort of... Mommy issues, abandonment issues, maybe. Uh, we'll figure it out. So we're at 36%. Uh, I got to refill, uh, but I'll do that next time. For now, we're back at base. Uh, we got to go fix that greenhouse, which we'll do next time. For now, uh, I think that's it for episode two. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. It's the way that I know I'm doing something right. Uh, if you guys think I missed something, you think I could have done something differently, you want to see something else, uh, by all means, leave a comment. And either way, I'll see you all next time. Better, <laughs> <laughs>